It's a process to feel comfortable being called to be the primary caretaker of a very sick and injured patient. Confined to a small area in the back of an aircraft, you're very limited in equipment, supplies. Certainly when you're first starting out, you think of all these things of, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? What am I going to need while I'm up in the air? And that whole critical thinking and planning part for each patient-specific scenario is critical. This is what we're preparing them to do. And I don't think there's anything better than hands-on learning. The simulator that we have now definitely allows for that hands-on training and preparation. The simulator was built inside an actual aircraft frame. So the movements are the same, the sound is the same, the vibration is very similar. All those things affect patient care. It affects the machines that are working on them and affects the medications that are being delivered to them. It gets very real. You can't rely on what we consider our primary basic assessment skills. The rotor blades, the engines, the turbines just are too loud. We use a different modality to help treat our patients. There's actually cameras inside that allow me to see you know, what techniques they're using, if they're delivering care appropriately, if there's some improvements we can make. We can fly in every type of weather, fog, dense rain, low visibility, there will be extreme pitch and yaw and roll of the aircraft. It's designed to trick your brain into feeling what you would feel in the air. So it doesn't have to bank 30 degrees to, to simulate what that would feel like in a real aircraft. It's gonna bank a little bit and you're gonna see the geography tilt and it's gonna trick your brain. Simulating the environment in a safe manner. Not only was Case Western Reserve University's flight program one of the first in the nation, this is the first medical flight simulator in the nation as well, and this is only going to help increase the educational experience we can provide. We are incredibly grateful to the Dorothy Ebersbach Endowment Fund, to Jerry Gregoire of Redbird Flight Simulations, and Joe Brown from Hartzell Propeller for this incredible gift to the university. The opportunities are endless when it comes to not just education, but research that's certainly going to come down the road with this. Having the simulator as part of my education definitely makes me feel more confident and more prepared to provide the highest level of care possible to our patients. It takes education to a whole nother level.